So today is our initial class for our group that is going on study abroad to Peru. Lindsay and I were able to uh, organize a group that uh, includes a bunch of people from Peru that are here in the Kenosha area and they're all here with our students who are going to Peru and we're having a cultural exchange today. We thought it was a really nice opportunity for them to kind of break down some of those barriers. Um, you know, as you go to a new place, you might be a little nervous, anticipating the unknown and this really kind of brings it down to the human level for them to meet people who are from that country. I think it's important for us to meet Peruvians before we actually go to Peru so we can get an insight on what the culture is like and to prepare us for what we're going to do while we're down there and who we're going to meet. I think that this is going to help with creating that cultural awareness. Um, we are extremely friendly. We are extremely touchy. We kiss, we hug, we pick up people when we greet them. That's just how we are, so I think that understanding that um, that first impression will make a big impact is it's very important for them to know. We're going to be spending a week at the orphanage Casa Hogar Juan Pablo II, which is in Lurin, about 40 minutes south of Lima. And then we'll be taking a side trip for four days to Cusco, the Sacred Valley, and Machu Picchu. Once the students get to Peru and get to Cusco in particular, they will be observing and they will be exposed to people that still maintain those cultures with the dress code, with the food, the language. We'll learn some Spanish so we can communicate with the children and what we're going to do while we're, while we're down there, while the children are in school, we'll be doing some projects such as um, help painting, gardening, anything that the, the orphanage will need us to do, we're gonna be there and willing to do it. It just really uh, makes you experience other cultures and learning about other things. It makes you a, a global person. And Gateway makes it really affordable and easy for students to to do that. One of the most exciting things I think about this study abroad for Gateway is that all of our students are from different career areas. We have everyone from surgical tech to environmental engineering to horticulture and um, many things in between. So we're excited to have a variety of students with diverse backgrounds and interests and all going to do community service. I really encourage you, if you have never considered study abroad, it's a wonderful opportunity to expand your horizons and improve your professional and personal skills. So please visit our study abroad page to learn more.